Let's talk about the We Create Vision software. We're gonna dive in, give you an overview of everything the software can do and help you design a beginner project. Let's jump in. First thing you wanna do is download the software. So you can go to We Create's website and you can download it. There are also versions for Mac and for your phone. When you open up the software, you're gonna to come to this home screen here and you're gonna see a bunch of projects that you can make. A number of these are free. If you click on beginner projects, you can select a project that you want to make. It's gonna give you details on the project, tell you how much time it's gonna to take to make and it's gonna give you the price. The beginner projects are free. If we go to another category and click on a project, these are going to cost roughly 99 cents per project. We Create does offer a subscription program where you can pay monthly to have access to all of these projects. You also have the ability to make your own designs and that's what we're gonna talk about today. So up in the right hand corner, we're gonna click on new project and this is the screen we're gonna to come to. Now we've already turned on the vision and put a piece of basswood in it there's a camera on the vision. And so what you see here is a picture of the wood that's in the machine. Over on the right, I have my laser, I call it creator, and it's connected via USB. So we're gonna go through this screen and talk about what all of these different buttons and functions can do, and then we're gonna make a project. So let's start up on the top left. We have our home screen, which will take us back to those projects. There is a settings button. There's a lot of different options here. Down on the very bottom, there's options to check for updates. Um, it is a newer software, so it is updated fairly often. Um, number of other options here, I like to measure in inches. You could do millimeters as well. Um, so if you ever need to change something uh, about a function on your machine, this is probably where you wanna go. Next up, there's a file button, save, open, new project, that kind of thing. So let's go down this left side here. So you can create a number of different things. We have lines, rectangles, or circles that just allow you to create shapes on your board. When I create the shape up here on top, I can position it, I can change the size of it, and I can rotate it or flip it around. Another neat thing you can do, you can array your piece. So I can make a whole bunch of the same item I can also select everything and group them together. I can align them all so they're centered or distributed evenly. So there's a lot of different ways you can play with shapes up here. There's also a couple of text options. So I can click on text, can type whatever word I like. And then up on top, I have some text options here. There are some fonts that we create recommends. And then I have my system fonts that are built into my computer. So I'm able to cut and engrave any type of text here. One thing that you are not able to do is weld within here. So if I pick kind of a scripty font and I want these letters, let's make it a little bit bigger. And I want these letters to be welded together so it cuts out as one piece. I don't have that option in here. If you wanna get really intricate with text that is welded together, you might wanna to create that outside of the software and then bring it in. But if you wanna create just single letters and cut them out, you can absolutely do that here. The, other, the next button here is text path. If I type some text, hit confirm, and then I can draw a line, any line I want. This is just a freestyle line and the text is going to follow that line. The image function is gonna bring up a bunch of vector graphics that you can use in your designs to cut or engrave. Next, we're gonna go down to pen, and this is just gonna allow me to create straight lines in any shape that I want, and I can kind of connect them all together to create something different that is not a rectangle or a circle. There is an AI function here so this is the example they give with this panda. You can put in a prompt and it's gonna give you some different design options that you can then engrave. The extract image is really cool. So I'm going to place a just really simple design that my daughter drew inside the vision and then I'm going to close it and hit refresh. So I've got her little drawing that she did here and I can then hit extract image 
select what I'd like, and then I've got some items that fill in up here. So I can go to edit image, and this little magic paintbrush right here is gonna take away the background. And then I have this image that I can play with. I can just remove that sheet of paper by taking it out of the vision, hitting refresh again. And then I can work with this. So there's a number of different ways you can play around with it here. Um, you can adjust the grayscale or the sharpness, but I can engrave this onto a piece of wood. It's a great way to take a child's drawing and put it on something to make it memorable. So on this piece of basswood, we are gonna cut and engrave something. So I am going to upload an image. This is an SVG file that I have. Then I'm gonna add a circle. When I'm working with this circle up here, I can change the size of it. So what I wanna do is I wanna take this happy camper image and put it inside the circle and make a little ornament. But there's some things I have to do first. So the first thing we have to do is define what this material is. So make sure that you are not highlighting any graphics, you're clicked off of it. And over here on the right, I'm going to click auto focus. The vision is gonna auto raise or lower to focus appropriately on the material that I have in it. Next thing I'm gonna do is select the material. There are a ton of materials here. If you pick the one that you like and it doesn't give you the appropriate cut, you can always add your own and put in your custom settings here. But for this, this is three millimeter basswood. That's what we're working with, so that's what we're gonna select. So now that I have my material selected, I wanna tell the machine what to do with these graphics. So the first thing I'm gonna do is increase the size of this a little bit. On the top right, there's a couple options here. The arrow that we're clicked on allows me to move pieces around. The hand allows me to move the image around the screen. And then we can increase the size of it as well. That just makes it a little bit easier to see. We're also gonna to touch on this little layer piece for a second. If you were creating a big design and you wanted to do it, you have multiple canvases here to work with. We are gonna do something really simple today so we don't need our layers. All right, so I want a television to cut out this circle. So I'm going to go back up to my arrow, select the circle, and I'm gonna select cut. And I know from experience that the cut settings for three millimeter basswood work great for this. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm also gonna add a second circle here for my ornament. This is a great way to use the align function. You can see that it's kind of snapping for me to help me line it up. But if I select both of these and click align, I can make sure it's in there perfectly. Now I have this happy camper SVG. All of these pieces are individual and I can group them together. But the first thing I wanna do is just select them all then come over here and I'm gonna fill engrave. That means it's gonna engrave all the little pieces and fill them all in. It's gonna give me some settings, but down here I have this matrix, which is really helpful. If I click on this, I can select how I want that happy camper image to look. And I want a really light engraving here. So I like this one right here. This is what we're gonna try. And if I just click on this, the settings change over on the right. I can also manually adjust these settings, but this is a great visual to help you figure out what you want and how it's gonna look when it's done. So now I just need to select everything. I'm gonna group them together. One thing I noticed, if you group an SVG together and then you hit this, it, this engrave or cut, it doesn't work. You need to select your function first and then group. I'm gonna move this over here and size it appropriately. And so now I've told the vision I want to engrave this and I want to cut the outsides. And now we are ready to process. So up here on the right, I'm just going to click start. The machine's going to give me an estimated processing time. I'm going to send it over. It will not start until I push the button on the outside. The vision is going to engrave and then cut out this ornament. 
When the machine stops, wait for the fan and the air assist to shut off before opening the lid and pulling out your creation. That was a quick tutorial of the We Create Vision Make It software. I hope you found it helpful. If you want to learn more about the vision, there are some videos linked down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.